practice gratitude, a beautiful card telling us that we need to practice gratitude. In order to find happiness when it comes to love, you need to practice gratitude. When you're always focused on why is this person not coming to me? Why am I always in a relationship where it just seems like everything is always the same and this never gets better and I just keep you know, in the same pattern with the same kind of like relationship? Well, it's time to practice a little gratitude. Be thankful that you do have this um, this relationship. Maybe this relationship isn't perfect. Maybe this relationship um, isn't what you really want, but maybe there's someone better for you. You know what? We always have to go through the practice runs, so to speak. And maybe this person doesn't, maybe this person is not giving you enough tension. Maybe because you're not like focusing on the, the, the bigger picture. Maybe there's something more in this relationship. Not that you're the cause of it, but you know what? One, two wrongs don't make a right. So if this person is not treating you right, well, then you need to speak up. You need to say something to this person. You know, this, you know, like maybe he doesn't realize. Maybe because he's so wrapped up with work or he's so wrapped up with and consumed with everything else. Or maybe he's just, you know, not aware of what, what you're feeling. You know, like sometimes you have to just speak up. Release blocks. Important. Very important. When you're blocking yourself from love, when you're blocking yourself from feeling love, you're not going to feel love. Even if you're involved in that relationship, like I said, you could be like going around saying, you know what? This person is just not listening to me. This person is just blocking me. Why do they ghost me? Why are they not listening to me? And you try to blow up their phone or, you know, you try to like get their attention on, you know, social media, you know, you're trying to DM them. You know, that's not the way to do it because that's what automatically is blocking you. Not that they're blocking you, but you're blocking yourself from acceptance. There's something there that this person is not seeing. Maybe she's not realizing because you're hurting inside. This is why you have to just take it down a notch or he has to realize, you know what? This is not meant to be this way. Maybe this person isn't meant for you at all. Sometimes we are kind of like consumed with that person because we're blocked. We are um, thinking that this is the way it's supposed to be because our lives you know, have to be this way. It's codependency. And that's not good. Codependency is never good in a relationship, especially one that, you know, seems like they're ghosting you or they're just always, they're just not always available. Um, you have to just work through it. You know, so this is working through your feelings. Work through your feelings. Work through everything. When you work through your feelings, you release your blocks. And that, you know what, that could be also ego. You know what, ego can also um, inhibit us from seeing the, the actual, you know, the light of that, that relationship. Work through your feelings. Look at what your feelings are. And it's, it's a moon in Aries, last quarter moon in Aries, which represents a lot of ego right there. So when you work on your feelings, you know, hey, maybe I'm just not the person I thought I was. And maybe I just have to take it down a little bit. You know, I have to chill a little bit, you know, and stop thinking that I'm always you know, the one that has to put the effort and I'm always the one that has to make up like let's get together or I have to I have to go finding, you know, like some kind of excuse so I can like get together. Take a breather. Yes. You know, I'm not saying that you are the fault of it. Sorry, that's my ring. I'm not saying that it's because of you that you did something wrong because honestly this is not what this card is representing. This this card is representing like actually you need to take a break. You need to focus on you. You know, you. Yeah, you. Look in the mirror and say, yeah, you. You need to focus on you. Take a breather. With everything going on, you know, you might be going through so much right now. You know, like everything is just crammed up in our schedules because it's almost the end of the year and we try to get everything done as quickly as possible. And you know what? That's when you end up failing. So that's why you need to take a breather. Keep your heart open. So that person that you're involved with, they're not getting back to you. Well, maybe there's a reason. Maybe you have to take a breather and figure it out. Like say, maybe there is something that is not really there between us, or maybe that we haven't even explored our relationship completely that I don't even know if I want this person because you need to focus on yourself. You need to take a breather, take a breather, take it down a notch, let your fears dissolve. Maybe there's a relationship from the past that keeps following you into the present. And you know what? This is because you're letting, you're letting your fear get in the way with exploring this relationship. You know what? Sometimes you just got to take a, that breather and say, you know what? I'm just going to let it be. And I'm going to let that person, you know, dive right in when they're ready. And you know what? I'm just going to be me. Many times you'll see. Maybe it's time for you to, you know, start exploring other options. Keep your heart open. Maybe there is somebody else 
And maybe there isn't somebody else, but maybe it's time for you to explore other people because that can happen. When you're going through a difficult time and you're constantly like fixated on that person and saying, hey, that person needs to come into my life. That person needs to be the one. Why am I not with that person? What's going on here? You know, like your mind is all like troubled and you're all constantly thinking you did something wrong and you need to, you need to fix it. Don't, you can't fix nothing. Don't put too much control into what you think you can do because a lot of times things happen for a reason. I can't explain it and I'm not going to. I don't even touch that because I don't have the answers. Nobody does. You know, sometimes you have to just take it to the level where you feel more refreshed inside and say, you know what, I'm just going to be me and just let things happen naturally and watch how your fears will just be dissolved. You will let go of things. You will open up to a new beginning, but it's time for you to see that light. If you don't see that light, you're always going to feel like you're restricted. Okay. Um, there was a lot of important messages here and I, I got a lot of of energy from it as well. We that's what happens. We we get readings, we find readings, even our own readings. We don't realize we found the message. So take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. And if there's a um, you'd like to get your own personalized reading, I do offer phone chat and email readings. The links are in the um, description area. Also, I have um, blog articles that you can check out. Also, other videos, and you know. It's it's um, something I love to do. I've been doing this for many years, and I want to continue. Um, so, if you have any you know comments, anything like you like to share, I love to reach out to every. I mean, love when everybody reaches out to me, and I would love to reach out to you too. So please, you know, make yourself known to me so that I can know who you are. You could always you know DM me. You can put it in the comments. Whatever whatever works for you. It's just that it's been crazy busy the last couple of weeks. So I apologize if I didn't get back to you, but I promise I will. Um, so I just want to say to you all, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, all your support. I love you all. So until next time, God be with you all. Namaste.